It was a beautiful day on the narrow gauge railway. Louis had been working very hard at the quarry. The Rusty was sent to help, but he was very overworked. They both were. So another engine had to be sent to the railway to help. One day, the two engines were sitting in some sidings. They were excited for the new engine. I wonder when he's going to get here. I feel very dirty, said Louis. Oh, well, I'm very tired, too. But don't worry, the new engine will be here soon. Pretty sure. I know. I'm very excited. I wonder when he's going to get... Oh, wait a minute. Here he comes now. Just then, boiling round the bend was a dark green diesel. He then puffed many steps slowly in front of Louis and Rusty. Oh, what's going on now? Another diesel here to take us over? Oh, what a joke. Don't worry, Louis. Calm down. He's just a new engine. He look, in fact, he kind of looks a lot like me. Well, see, we're, we're the only de you're the only steam engine at the quarry today. Oh, right. I think I'll be working alone away from the diesels. Except you, Rusty. Because you're the only diesel I've been knowing. Um, hello. Shush! I want you to do as I say, and you are so going to do that starting now. Some of us have work to do, you know. Oh. oh, sorry about him. Pay no attention to him. He don't mean any harm. Anyways, my name is Rusty. Welcome to the quarry, and welcome to the railway. Oh, um, thank you, Rusty. Wow, you're so appreciative. Rusty just smiled as Fred oiled into the shed. Soon, everything managed to go well at the quarry. Rusty was taking the stone trucks while Louie was handling the slate cars at the incline. But finally, Louie had enough. Ugh, that engine needs to pay for his crimes. Okay, now what on earth did he do to you? Well, I don't know. Exactly. So you shouldn't do anything to him. Not if I have any say in it. And Louis puffed away, looking very cross. As Louis got back, he saw some trucks. That gave him an idea. Oh, get ready to be squished, boy. But Louis didn't know that the points were actually switched. Then, he started to charge for Lou for Fred. But then, Louis was diverted onto the other track. Then... Oh, bother! cried Louis. It took a long time to clear the mess. Well, well, well. Looks like it just goes to show that you can't just assume, said Fred. And he laughed away, feeling happy for himself. Oh, 